Okay. Good afternoon, students. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the present perfect tense and the interrogative sentence. How to form interrogative sentence into in present perfect tense. All of you know what is interrogative sentence. An interrogative sentence is a sentence that asks you a question. Now there are two types of interrogative sentence. First, which can be answered in yes or no. Second, which has got lengthy answers. Those questions, those answers are long. So how to form questions in present perfect tense? Okay, as discussed in the class, the helping verb will be used at the first place, at the beginning of the sentence. And then the subject, subject can be either singular or plural, and the main verb. Main verb has to be present in the past participle form with a question mark at the end. That is how to form interrogative sentence. Have will be used for both singular and plural subject. Okay. Have I eaten or have we eaten? A question is formed. You is both uh, you is used both for singular and plural subject. Then also we we'll use have. For first person and second person, we are going to use have. But only in third person we have to use both has and have. Where are we going to use has in the third person? Has will be used with he, she, it and name of one person. Okay? But we are going to use have third person when the subject is plural. So, have will be only written with the third person when the subject is plural. And the plural subject can be either they or name of more than one person. Okay? Have they eaten? Okay? So this was about the yes no questions. Whatever is written here, it is written for the yes no question. But now the second category of interrogative sentence was the information questions. Now we won't make any changes in this pattern, in this structure, because only one thing has to be added at the beginning of the sentence while asking information questions. And that thing is question words. Question words are the words that are used to ask question and the words words. Okay? WH words are used to ask information questions. Only this thing has to be added at the beginning of the sentence. Rest of the thing remains the same. Okay? If you omit this part, if you leave this question word, then you have got only yes no question. Okay, all the three things, all the three, first person, second person, third person, all these three are asking you yes no question. But the moment you add the question words at the beginning, it becomes information questions. Okay? So that's it for the interrogative sentence. And you can also see that all my questions are present in the present perfect tense. So that's it for today. The questions and the exercises for your homework are posted on the WhatsApp group. Kindly do it. And if you have any doubts, you can ask me on my WhatsApp. Thank you.